you were bringing this up to me in the break mm -hmm. is the idea of a Maxi Kleba trade. So if we can throw that out there. And just real quick, Mike, I was about to dismiss the Rondo to the Basketball Hall of Fame, even though I know it's easier to make the Basketball Hall of Fame. But when I was taking a look, two NBA titles, four-time All-Star. He's first or second team All-Defense four times, led the league in assists three times, led the league in steals. Like, I think there's a shot. I personally still wouldn't put him in there, but that also might just be bias yeah. because of how he screwed yeah. the Mavericks. He's not a so sure thing, but not he's, at a, all. he's a strong candidate. Uh, Tim Cato says that the Mavericks have shown interest in, obviously, Lori Markkinen, but here's the where it kind of comes together, uh, Mike. There are two different options. I'm going to go with number two because that's the one that involves Kleba and not talking marketing in and taking below market value. Dallas could below offer marketing value. Yeah. Dallas could offer marketing a three year deal worth 44 million and send back out about $10 million in offsetting salary and a direct trade not involving its TPE. Uh, he said, I've heard Chicago is in, has interest in Kleba. It's a riskier deal for Dallas, giving up both a rotational player and signing market into a higher salary point. It might be a worthwhile gamble, although you would have to talk me into it, uh, Tim Cato says. Kleba has been the better player in the past seasons, or at least the more useful one for the team with postseason aspirations. He struggled in both postseasons, but he was injured throughout the most recent series against Clippers. Would you trade him and Trey Burke for marketing at that price point? I would, because I feel like I'm getting a more talented player. Now, he's not very good defensively, and, and, he is and Kleba's a better defensive player. Kleba can't hit a shot to save his life in clutch moments. That's why nobody guards him, and it's very tough to put him on the court. So I will take more talent and see if I can flip talent for more talent later. If that makes sense, because that does not put the Mavericks over the top. It could make things a little bit more difficult, in especially your defensive rotations. But I'm getting what is considered a much more talented player than Maxi Kleba. And Maxi Kleba, I believe, is going to be 30 years old next year. I'm trying to find marketing on this list. Oh, no. Is he not a top 100 NBA player? I don't. I, I would. I would say he's not. Yeah, he's not top one twenty five. Oh my gosh! Because he has even played enough. Like that's one of my things. Is like I. I know I liked the he, dude coming out, and I was like, he's that next kind of iteration. He, but he's twenty four. Right. To Mike's point about being younger, what will drive people insane is if you don't like the KP misses games. Well, mm. welcome to the party because Lori <laughs> Markinen will miss some games on yeah. you, man. Yeah, and that's the tough thing. But I would do the trade. I mean, in his career, he averages 15.6 points per game, 36.6% three-point shooter, 44% shooter from the floor um, in general, 85% uh, free throw shooter. Does not get to the line very much, but he is an 85% uh, free throw shooter when he gets there. And I think there's just more potential for him to end up being good. And the other thing, too, is I do think it makes KP possibly more tradable if the right trade comes up because you're like, we already have KP. Yes. His name's Lori Marketing. Yes. Like, we, if we trade KP, Lori can really fill that role of 33 to 34 minutes a night and possibly get us 20 points a game. Uh, so I would do it. I'm I'm thinking this. My son asked me this yesterday, and I said I would trade for Lori Marketing, and I'm hopeful that that's going to happen because at this point it seems like Lori Marketing is holding out for something, and he said he wanted to be a Dallas Maverick. Remember when the yes. offseason hit? He said, I want to be a Dallas Maverick. I want to play with Luka Doncic. So if he has his mind set on that and his agent has his mind set on that, and it sounds like the Mavericks now have interest in him, then if that's the trade that needs to happen, because remember, if we just sign him, Chicago can just say, fine, we match, and there's nothing we can do about it because he's restricted. He is not unrestricted. So it, the Chicago can match if we sign him to a really low deal and just say, we'll keep him for that deal.